I had such an amazing time with these pigs and all the animals at the Blind Spot Animal Sanctuary, but also being able to see what it's like living in a sanctuary and a home and how these rescued animals have uh, a very different life than they could have had otherwise. This uh, beautiful little piglet, if you saw in the episode, he was one of the two piglets that had um, come in because they had been bought as mini pigs or teacup pigs. And unfortunately, the family wasn't told by the breeder um, some of the things to consider and their family dog attacked this piglet. And that's why he only has one ear. But in this part of the show, I was actually trying to take photographs of the piglets running towards me. And I was shooting with the Nikon D5 and the 2470 2.8 lens. You can see more about the gear I used in this episode in the photography gear and gear deep dive. But here I've got this image that I was able to capture. Um, what works with this image is that it's a sharp image. Um, I've got the plane of focus sharp where I want it and it's uh, soft outside of that plane of focus. But what I couldn't control in this scenario were things like the way the um, lighting hit. Let me open this up a little bit. Um, the way the lighting hit or the um, sunshine where it was coming in from or even just being able to affect the saturation, how bright this image is. And all of that was because I shoot in a way that allows me to have just a very clean file knowing that I'm gonna go into post-processing later. So here I am in On One Photo Raw 2020, and I'm clicking on the crop tool, and I'm just gonna crop in a little bit tighter. Um, some, oh, and I'm cropping to basically what I would have done in camera if I had an opportunity to. In this case, all I had an opportunity to do was shoot. <laughs> and so I got the image I wanted, knowing that I could do this in post. So I'm gonna crop in a little bit tighter to what I'd like to see and then do some changes here in On One Photo Raw. So I'm gonna start out in the edit mode, going into the develop module, and I'm just gonna click on this. This is the AI auto, and it automatically reads your photo and makes some adjustments right away. Um, the first thing I see is, certainly it's a, a bolder image, but there's a few adjustments I wanna do creatively. So I'm gonna open up that exposure a little more. I'm going to dial down the contrast because I know what I wanna do later and I'm probably gonna make this um, from a just a simple um, bringing out the whites in an image brightening it up or less I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit more because I like those whites in the image and that's where I'm gonna start then I'm gonna go into the effects module and look at this image and one of the things I wanted more of in this moment was that sunshine so I'm gonna go into the sunshine filter and select within this, this sun glow, one of my favorite options, because it just gives this warm, lovely feel to an image. And I'm gonna bring this sunshine down just a little bit. I don't need all that. And I'm already liking this a lot better. The next thing I'm, I'm realizing is that with this beautiful pig's eyes, I don't really see any burst of light in them like I would have liked to have done. Um, so I'm gonna switch to this local option, add a filter, and when I do this, basically I'm creating an ability to make an adjustment just on a certain part of the image. The brush option is already selected for me. The size is pretty close, although I'm gonna zoom in on my little guy here. And, um, and I'm just gonna bring the brush up to be just a hint wider. So around there, you can either type in a number or um, use it on the slider on it. And basically whatever I um, paint is going to be affected by how I change these sliders. So I want to bring up the exposure in these little eyes. I can go in even closer just by hitting the um, command and plus key or just I can actually just hit zoom. And so I'm going to go in right on these eyes and I'm going to just brush in the effect I want pretty simply. I can obviously spend a lot of time on these eyes if I wanted to, but I just want to have a look here where when I come down here and adjust the exposure, I can go way up to see what that effect would be clearly too much. But I'm going to kind of just go here just because I want them brighter and I'm going to lift some of the shadows in the eyes. Again, I could go way up, which is too much, or I can go kind of here and I can do the same thing with the whites, bring it way up or just bring just a little bit in. And that makes me feel 
much better about those eyes being lit up. I'm going to back out a little bit and then look at the overall image. And you can see here, just even from this far away, if you shut that off or bring that in, those eyes really do pop. Um, I'm going to just dial it just a little bit more, a little lower, and then that's good. I feel like that's in really good shape. Next, I'm going to go over to effects. Um, one of the things I'd love to have is a softer, warmer light, of like a late day sun coming down. And so I can go here into sun flare mode, select that. It automatically pops up one of the many, many options you can choose for sun flare. But I like that option. Um, I just didn't want the sun coming in this way. I want it to come in this way. So I'm going to switch the transform mode. I'm going to click that and I'm going to re-click on the image of where I'd like that sun to be coming in. And that'll happen automatically for me. So if I shut this off, you can see the effect. I turn it on. It just adds a really nice soft feel to it. I'm going to dial it down just a little bit and look at the image and it's already a lot closer to what I want, what I want to see. And then lastly, I think I'm going to go into this filter and add a vignette, but not the traditional vignette. The traditional vignette would give me this darker image where it leads in. I want to shift that. I want it to feel very bright all around this little piglet. So I'm going to go the other way and make it just a little brighter, just a little bit more like that. So that would be without the vignette, that would be with it. The more I go, the higher that vignette is in terms of the brightness that leads you in. And that's really close to what I'd want to see. I can obviously keep going with this image as much as I want to. Um, probably the only last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back into local adjustments. And this is just me pulling back, looking at the image and thinking, what else would I like to see? And one last thing I'd like to see is just a bit more vibrancy in that grass. So I'm going to hit the adjustment, make my brush size larger, and I'm just going to paint this grass. Again, it's going to, to show me the effect, it's going to come in much darker. I don't want that, but that's the way I can kind of guide with my brush to see what's happening. So if I do something like that, those are kind of the green parts of the image I'd want to emphasize a little bit down here. And I'm going to lift that exposure to do the exact opposite thing, which is to be a little brighter, just a little brighter. Where are we? There. <laughs> and then um, bring a little bit more of the vibrancy up in that grass. You can see this is kind of really high. Let me start there, right about there. That might be a little too much down to here. So just a little bit of that effect and you can see what the effect is. So that's without it and that's with it. Come on back. That's with it, without and with. It's just popping up just a little bit, but exactly kind of what I want overall. And then so if I go back to the overall image, about the only thing I'm going to do here is just kind of, now that I've brightened up a lot of the image, I'm going to bring that exposure down just a hint more. And that's it. So let's look at what this final image is here. I'm going to put it back to this, and that's what it looked like before. Ends up being quite a dramatic difference before and after. And this is the image that I saw when I was out there. It was just kind of this warm day, the pig coming at me. Um, it had just been bright. It started getting darker and rainy. This is what I wanted to produce. And even if I couldn't control everything while shooting, I could get the shot I wanted knowing I could do this in post.